the end of the school year just around the corner, many students and teachers have already started planning for their summer breaks. With most people receiving their COVID-19 vaccinations and loosening restrictions, many people see this summer as an opportunity to make up for all of the school breaks spent cooped up at home. Summer break is a time where I rejuvenate, I, I relax, I restore myself from a long school year. It means a lot to me because there's no school for me to be stressing about. I'm always stressing about school, trying to get straight A's. It's great not to be on a, you know, constant gem pack, stressful kind of schedule. You know, um, summer breaks, you know, a time to relax and take a couple more deep breaths. This year, I am going to, I'm planning on going to work. Um, I work at, at, as a martial arts instructor. Um, but I'm also planning on, you know, studying for some things for my AP classes next year. At near the end of the summer break, my family is planning to go to Disney World. It's more just time to hang out with my family and my friends. And I get to um, play a lot of summer softball, which is really good because that takes up a lot of time. So it's just something good to do. And then camps. I, I love camp so much, and that's a big part of my summer, so I'm just excited to do a few of them. I'm even, like, being a counselor at one, so I'm just so excited. I think I'm going to try to get another job, but I don't know where yet. And just try to do stuff that I wasn't didn't really have, like, the time to, to do during the school year. Um, but I think after all those things, I really want to, like, be able to, like, see my friends for a good amount before I'm off to college. I'm excited not to have to stare at a computer screen all day long and all night long and then all day again the next day. I plan to be outside and away from electronics as much as possible for the entire month of June and July to do some local stuff. I, I do want to sometime midsummer, I'm thinking it would be a good time to venture out to things like music in the park, farmers markets, things like that. We'll see. Everything's opening up with restaurants, hotels, like all that so maybe more trips too people are more relaxed which may or may not be a good thing it would be different with the masks on obviously and the um, socially distanced which also means you know reservations to everything which could be a good thing because you know the popular places would be less crowded be outside as much as possible stay away from the computer no one needs to be on zoom rest and be active all at the same time try not to be too hard on yourself because this year especially since it was all online and stuff like that there's a lot of challenges you have to go through make the most of every day because we don't know if another pandemic's gonna happen tomorrow so just like cherish every moment and make sure you hang out with your friends because you haven't seen them in a while and it's good for the soul you know reporting from scott center news i am chelsea plunkett